at National Harbor with the Orioles' Brady Anderson. And Brady, good to uh, see you. It's pretty busy around here the last few days, huh? It is. How you doing, Steve? I'm doing, I'm doing great. Now, one big thing that's coming up in your world, and fans have an exciting chance to, uh, to be a part of it, is an experience in spring training. Mm -hmm. And they can uh, bid on it, an auction item. And it benefits MLB charity, as I know it's very uh, special to the Orioles' hearts when it benefited longevity with Monica Barlow and now Shannon Ford with the Mets. Tell us about the experience. Well, first of all, it's for a great cause. I mean, those are two women who were highly thought of, highly regarded, widely loved throughout baseball. And the baseball community reached out to the Orioles in support of Monica. We're doing the same thing in support of Shannon. Uh, it's a chance to experience uh, a real training session. You have me, several of our strength coaches, um, put you through a session based on your needs and desires and capabilities. The players are really great. They don't have to do what they do, but last year um, the uh, winners of the auction got to train and run some, run some um, intervals with the pitchers. We're more than happy to watch and help them along. So it's a really good experience. It can be beneficial if you're into training and, and into uh, bettering yourself. And of course, it's for a, a terrific cause. Exactly. And last year, you had a great time with it, right? I did. I love it. I like making people better. I like people enthusiastic. As a matter of fact, the people that, that won the um, auction last year are bidding for it again this year. So it might be, might be the same thing. Well, outstanding that you're doing that. And I know fans are going to, uh, to get the high bid up there for a, for a great I cause. So. A couple quick baseball thoughts for you. What are these meetings like for you now as a baseball executive? Um, well, that's the only way I know them. I never attended uh, as a non-executive, so they're pretty busy. You try to, I, I pr like to keep things low key. I don't. Um, I like to try to do things out of the media. Um, I know there's a lot of leaks, and that's sort of the media's job to get as much information as possible. Um, that's not the way that I operate and don't want to. So it's probably why this is the first time you're seeing me. <laughs> exactly. In other words, don't hit you up with too many questions on this. Cause you're not revolving you any. You're not telling us no, any secrets no, here. No, I don't tell secrets, but I can tell you. Keep pointing in the right direction. <laughs> Overall, Brady, where is the ball club right now? What kind of things, in general terms, would you guys like to get done? Not necessarily the next day or two, but in the next months, a couple of months. Um, an everyday outfielder uh, would be great. Every team is always looking for pitching help. Our bullpen's been great and will continue to be great, but you always look for upgrades in any way possible and how it fits your salary structure. Um, possible transactions and trades. Typically teams um, want more than they're willing to give, but every now and then you can reach, like I just mentioned, a common ground and, and get a deal done. Or you can give up uh, really high sought after product, uh, prospects like the Red Sox did and get a superstar in sale. But that's a lot more difficult. You have to have a lot to offer to get a sale type caliber pitcher because there's so few of them out there. You were a cerebral player. You knew stats. You knew things about the game. There are so many more information yeah. modes with sabermetrics and everything now. How important is that? Well, it's super important. It's something I grew up studying. Um, so it's something that sort of fits right into what, what I find appealing as the metrics have been more advanced. You know, just the simple concept of guys getting on base versus batting average alone. Um, obviously has come to the forefront, something that seems so basic to me even as a kid, but they've even taken that further. And, and the defensive metrics, um, I don't believe, are nearly as accurate as the offensive metrics, but they're getting closer and closer. Last thing, are you, do you love your new role? It seems like you wear so many hats. You're in the clubhouse, you can go on the field with the players, you can go in the boardroom with Dan, you can go in the dugout with Buck. Uh, are you kind of loving what you're doing? I do. I've loved it since the moment I got here. Um, I love being a member of the or Oriole organization and, and helping any way I can. Brady, good luck with the uh, charity. Appreciate it. Thank you for taking time, and uh, we'll see you around the ranch. All right, I'll see you, Steve. Brady Anderson with us here on MassInSports.com.